ones that are never satisfied. Some things you figure were here before you are and will be here after you're gone. You never think about outliving them. This was somehow against the natural order, like watching a parent watching his child die. But then, at a time which cried for continuity, they were out. 48 hours after the fire, the horses were back, nursing nauseous human hearts with just the sight of them, the smell of them, the sound of them. And their need for reassurance reassured us. And without a word, they told us of things that can't be destroyed. Less than three weeks later, they were back again to race. The new tents were barely finished and far from the finish line. But there were cameras and bands and hopes too. Old faces were back to bet and take bets. We worked the night of the fire and we didn't leave till 6.30. And at eight o'clock, we're watching uh, Perry Mason and there comes this flash and Fairgrounds is burning to the ground. I looked at my husband and he looked at me. We were in complete shock. We came out the next day. It was still burning, but we could not believe the damage. And to think they did all of this, unbelievable. There were furs and jeans along the rail and something else too. These are race trackers and they know better than anyone how complicated winning is and how crucial it is to never stop trying. Jockey agent, big time Charlie Morrow said it well. How much are you gonna miss the whole place? Oh, I miss it immensely now, you know, it's hard to look over there and still see the structure standing in such a charred uh, appearance, but uh, you know, the human nature goes on, everybody got together, uh, a little help from some outsiders, things were peached, <laughs> patched up, put together, and here we are. The first race back was won by New Orleans trainer Tom Amos who spoke both to the past. You know, I come to the fairgrounds every year to train, and, and it's like uh, when you go away from home and coming back home, it's a great, comfortable feeling you have. And I, I had that same feeling every year I came here. So to watch it, you know, die, and, and for me to sit there and not be able to do anything about it was, was very hard on me. And to the future. So I was fortunate enough to win the very first race back, and, I, and I'll always remember that. that that's going to be something, you know, to my dying days I'll take with me. And uh, if this is a rebirth, I'm proud to be the beginning of that rebirth. It was no day to decide if this was a rebirth or just a reprieve. It was a day best suited to wrapping as many senses as you could around a racehorse and letting it refute time, letting it refute tragedy. season had seemed so hopeless in December will now conclude on time on March 28th. We've come a long way from the night of December 17th of 1993. Right after the fire we moved very quickly to get racing back up and going again. Uh, we lost actually 10 racing days or 19 calendar days uh, and immediately after the temporary facilities were in place began working on the permanent facilities. It took us about four years. There were a lot of ups and downs. This $34.5 million project uh, that uh, we're very proud to have completed for this Thanksgiving opening. Uh, if you look at the facilities, some of the essence of the old building has been incorporated into the new building. Of course, the three cupolas on the roof line are the signature of the old building. If you look at the angle and pitch of the roof, the terracotta color, uh, they're very reminiscent of the old facility. The bleachers out front are uh, very reminiscent of the old facility. Uh, some of the interior features that we wanted to keep were the oyster bar, which was part of the ambiance of the old facility, the old grill, uh, which people remember very fondly. Uh, the new features that you might see are the corporate suites that we didn't have in the old facility. It's a, a vertically integrated facility, and now with the sight lines for the clubhouse and the grandstand, 
uh, being right on the finish line. Uh, perhaps some of the sight lines are a little better. But the most prominent feature of the new facility is the paddock out the back of the building. Keeps the racing fans engaged uh, completely during their time that they're here. They get to see the pageantry, the jockeys coming out of the jock room, meeting the owners and trainers. Uh, they get to see the jockeys put up on the horses and uh, wait on out to the racetrack. Uh, so it's a facility that people have responded to very warmly and that we're very proud of.